Good day. In this video, we're going to show you three equations that we're going to solve using the K method. This is our first equation. It says solve for X. If you look at this equation, you will see that we have an equation with fractions. So we'll have two times by the LCD, which is X squared. But then we say, no, we do not want to times by x squared because this is going to become 4x to the power of 4 then. And on school level, we don't want to solve equations with an x to the power of 4. So we start by saying, let x squared equals to k. So everywhere where you see an x squared, we're now going to write a k. When I do equations with fractions, I make everything into fractions first. Don't get a fright. Some people have trouble understanding why that x squared now suddenly just becomes a k. Get your brain around this. Because this is an equation with fractions, I will times by the LCD, which is k. After you've times everything by k, you'll get 4k squared plus 9 equals to 12k. Now we have a normal quadratic equation, everything to one side, equated to zero. Factorize it or use the quadratic formula to find the value of k. If you use this method of factorizing, you can write 2k minus 3 equals to 0 and solve for k. And your final answer of k will be 3 over 2. But they did not ask us here to solve for k, they asked us to solve for x. So then I'm going to go back to what I did here. We made x squared equal to k, so k is equal to x squared. Then you write x squared is equal to 3 over 2 because that x squared is k. To get rid of the square, we square root both sides. Just remember, then it becomes x equals plus or minus the square root of 3 over 2. So x has two possible answers. x is equal to plus the square root of 3 over 2, or x is equal to minus the square root of 3 over 2. Please stop the video and get your brain around this one. Here is our second equation. It says solve for x, and they give us this. In this case, we're going to make these two pieces equal to k. So you're right. Let x squared minus 1 equal to k. Replace the x squared minus x in both places with a k. I always make everything fractions immediately. Then we times everything with the LCD, which is k. A few times k with k, you're going to get k squared. If you times this with k, you're going to get minus 8k. If you times this with k, the k will cancel. You get plus 12 equals to 0. Factorize it or use the quadratic formula. Then you get k is equal to plus 2 or k is equal to 6. Remember the heading said solve for x, not solve for k. So we said let x squared minus x equal to k. So k is this. This number is this and this number is this. So we write x squared minus x equals the 2 we worked out or x squared minus x equals the 6 we worked out and work out these two equations separately. Bring everything to one side and equate it to 0. Let's just hide this one for a minute. So we go factorize this quadratic equation and we get two answers x equals to minus 1 or x equals to 2. We factorize this quadratic equation and get two answers from here. So this equation has four possible answers for x, and we have them here. x is equal to minus 1, x equal to 2, x equal to minus 2, or x equal to 3. Stop the video and get your brain around this equation. The last equation of this video looks like this. It says solve for x again. This time, we'll make these two pieces x. So we write, let the square root of x minus 2 equal to k. Replace them by k, and then times by the LCD, which is k in this case. The new equation will look like this. Bring everything to one side and equate it to zero. Factorize it or use the quadratic formula to find k. Then you get these two values for k. k is equal to minus 5 or k is equal to 2. Now we go back to this step, because this is k, so this is this. So you write, square root of x minus 2 is equal to minus 5. This answer is not applicable, just leave it for now. Then we write, the square root of x minus 2 is equal to 2, the other value we got for k. We square both sides to get rid of the square root. And then finalize by solving for x. So x is equal to 6 in this equation. 
This is a little bit difficult to understand. I'm just going to mention it to you. Any square root under the square root should be positive. So the answer of a square root like this should be a positive. So if you see a square root with a minus and a normal number on the right-hand side, you know this is not applicable. Look at the video that says restrictions in algebra. Please stop the video and get your brain around this equation. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. If you run into any school mathematical equation that you have trouble solving, you can send a clear WhatsApp photo of your problem to this number and a clear WhatsApp photo of where you tried it. Then we will try and solve it and send back an answer to you as soon as possible. Enjoy equations.